Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Fritchie and this is your Mathematics for Grade 5. Hello, good day and welcome once again to our Mathematics for Grade 5. Today we will discover about prime factorization. So let's look at the picture. So that picture is a tree, is a huge one. Now, in your workbook or in your module, I asked you to, uh, to make or be creative on your family tree. Now, why did I let you do that? So prime factorization looks actually like a family tree or a tree. Now, let us define it first. What is prime factorization? So prime factorization is a process of writing composite numbers as a product of its prime factors. So if you remember, we had this lesson actually in grade 4. So this is just some sort of review. Now, let us try to find the prime factors of number 84 using two methods. So I'm going to teach you or review you on the two methods of finding the prime factors. So the first method is using a factor tree. Now, the number 84 is on top. So what are the factors of or composite factors of 84? So the first technique is we should divide it on the lowest number, except 1, of course. So divided by 2. Can 84 be divided by 2? So yes. So we can write then 2 times 42 because 2 times 42 is 84. Next one. So 2 is already a composite number. So let's go to number 42. So what do you think are the prime factors or prime number, not composite, prime factors of 42? So again, we can also try to divide it by 2. And yes, it can be. So the answer is 2 times 21. Okay, the next is the number 21. Can this number be factored? answer is it cannot be divided by 2 so we should try number 3 and yes it can be divided so 21 is 3 times 7 now look at the numbers in red 2 2 3 and 7 those numbers either are the prime factors of 84 so we should write it as 84 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 or in exponential form 84 equals 2 squared the 2 on top is squared times 3 times 7 so that is the way of using the factor tree now we can use it in a different way if you have difficulty in using the factor tree because you need to write the factors now we can use division so we call it continuous division so once again we will write the number 84 on top and try to divide it by 2 so the division symbol there is quite different it's look, it looks like an L so 84 divided by 2 is 42 we learned that earlier and then once again we will divide 42 so 42 can be divided by 2 so it will be 42 divided by 2 equals 21 and we learned that 21 cannot be divided by 2 so we should try to divide it by 3 so 21 divided by 3 equals 7 and 7 cannot be divided by any number so we just try to divide it by itself so 7 divided by 7 equals 1 and because we already have 1 the number 1 that means it's the end of our continuous division so let's look once again at the numbers in red 2 2 3 and 7 it's the same as earlier so we can say that 84 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 or in exponential form 84 equals 2 squared times 3 times 7 now let us practice 
find the prime factors of the following using factor tree or continuous division whichever is whichever way is easier for you you can either use a factor tree or continuous division so these are just easy numbers okay now find the factor prime factors of 12 so you may pause this video while you are solving and play it again when you're done are you done Okay, so here is the solution for 12. Factor using the factor tree and continuous division. So the, your answer should be 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3 or it can be either 12 equals 2 squared times 3. Now here is another problem. Number 140. So here is the answer for 140. 140 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 7 or 140 equals 2 squared times 5 times 7. Okay, so very good if you've gotten the correct answer. So today we relearned really that we can solve for the prime factors of numbers using the factor tree and continuous division. In the next lessons, we will learn what is the use of finding the prime factors of numbers. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson today and see you on our next lesson. Goodbye!